Harrison's generosity in supporting spiritual and needy causes knew no bounds. There were two sides to George in his path. One was, if it's spiritual, especially the, the Krishna movement and all the spin-offs, he was obviously very generous with them. On the other hand, if it was to do with music and, or even handmade films, he would scrutinize the budget. He would argue with Dennis over costs. Uh, obviously, when you're making movies, they spiral, slightly different to the music business. However, he obviously had a different feeling for the money he gave. He gave the people, the Krishna people, that wonderful house out in Hertfordshire. Um, and that was publicized, and he didn't like that. How much he gave thereafter, I don't know, but I do know he carried on giving, and not just to them, but to other, other, other little groups. And he was always giving to groups that didn't come from what we, what we would probably call established religions. He gave it to people that believed in God, not necessarily believed in the people that were meant to carry the word of God. Whilst following a spiritual path, George had always held a tight eye over the band's finances. He had given both his name and his time to promoting many worthy causes. 